Well, if you enjoy your football, this is a marvellous city to come to. Welcome to the Estadio Ciutat de Valencia. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And getting ready for what should be potentially thrilling action here. It's Levante, and they take on Huesca. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Ennis Bardi, superb block. Roger, chance to do damage. Well, visionary passing, brilliantly blocked. One player who can really do damage is Morales. And Stewart, I wonder what you think we'll see from him in this game. Oh, can he score here, Derek? That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. He's driven in the corner. Found wanting a bit with that delivery. Jorge Miramon. Son. Ennis Bardi. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Can he give them the lead? There is the goal, and you could almost see that coming. They were sitting ever deeper, and now they've really paid the price. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise, and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Difficult to stop him. Miguel. Happy to take on the shot. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, just look at this again. It's a great finish. He just caresses the ball beyond the goalkeeper. It's a lovely goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Ennis Bardi and moving the ball nicely Nemanja Radoja Morales can they trouble the opposition this time? well, nothing comes of it it looked promising Mosquera Mateo has it and teammates to play it to not really the ideal clearance but it looked so threatening but the danger averted and the counter-attack is on options available
Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball. But unless they start passing it with more penetration, they'll struggle to win this game. Which oh, win. sorry, Stuart. Look at this. Not out of the woods yet. Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly. And didn't he just? Well, as you can see, that's a great half volley. He controls it so well, that could have gone anywhere. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Tackling and winning the ball to boot. This looks threatening. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. And a throw-in it's going to be. And does well to keep it in play. Mark Mateu. And now Mosquera. No possibilities inside the box. Fruitful-looking attack. That's not a bad ball. That is that for the first half here. Well, one man who looked as though he was enjoying himself in the first half, Morales. What did you make of his performance? Well, I thought he had a very good first half. And key to that was his movement. Time and time again, he got in behind the opposition and he was a real threat throughout the game. And I'm sure we're going to see more of him in the second half. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Escriche, alert defending. Roger, this might be ideal for the counter. Morales. On to Bardi. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Pepelu. Jorge Miramon. It's opening up for them. A glorious chance. And still danger here. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Well, that save has kept them in this game. They now need to create one or two chances of their own. Mosquera. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Robert. Pepelu. And Morales. Morales. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Mosquera. Escriche. It did look on for them, but not to be. Pepelu. And Morales. 
Morales. Radoya. He has time to play it over. And struggling to get the shot off. Pretty straightforward defending, dealing with that cross. Miguel. And the counter attack is on. Options available. And options in the centre. It is to be a throw in. Here it is now, a substitution. Campagna. Son. Here's Campagna. Well, a good tackle. He must finish! And fine goalkeeping. Ruben Vesso. So almost at full time, and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they should have had this wrapped up long ago. Some of their football has been excellent, but they're going to need to be resilient in these final few minutes to get their much-deserved victory. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Miguel. And we've entered the final five minutes. And the flag has gone up, offside. And a substitution in the offing. Melero. On to Bardi. Morales. He could pick out a teammate. Has someone to play it to. Morales! Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, Morales was very difficult to contain. His manager will be pleased. How would you sum up his contribution? Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.